It was a pizza. A pizza. Oh. A pizza with a slice removed that has spawned a game that was birthed 40 years ago that people still go, I kind of like that game. I can't believe that was how it was inspired because I get those pizzas a lot when my husband or the boys go get a pizza. Mm-hmm. It's a Pac-Man pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Pac-Man. Pac-Man's 40 years old. I had no idea until today that it was inspired by a pizza missing a slice. And some dude went, huh, I'm going to make a game out of this. And this game will cool. have some this this round thing with a slice that's missing out of it. Go through a maze and chomp up little dots. And who would have thunk that that would have turned in, I mean, probably a multi-billion dollar business, I would think. Let me tell you, I went, I'm from the era that you go to the arcade at the mall. At the mall. And you plump in a bunch of change into a machine and you play that silly thing until an Atari came into your home. (laughs) Until your hand is all cramped in that. Man, I played that (laughs) silly thing for hours. Well, my dad was the uh, manager at a fast food restaurant and right next door was a convenience store. And so when I went to work with him every now and then, he would give me a big handful of quarters and I would play Pac-Man. Same thing for hours and hours. That that's crazy. Wow. Yep. Pac-Man inspired by a pizza. Did you ever play like Mrs. Pac-Man or no, was your no, favorite, the original? No, no, not Mrs. Pac-Man. <laughs> I did. I liked her little. You're bug. allowed to. Yeah. You're a young lady. Well, true. But wasn't there like a Pac-Man Jr.? Wasn't there a kid or mm-hmm. something like that? Oh, they okay. spawned off a lot of kids. Yeah. And then they yeah. got into foster care. What? And then no. they adopted a <laughs> bunch of kids. Don't you remember adopted Pac-Man Jr.? Not not at all.